Hi, welcome back with me Plant Do Home and Garden. This time, I'll give you video about top 10 flowering bushes for your landscape. Well, before go to the video, don't forget to like and subscribe for supports this channel. Also, you can turn on the bell for more updated videos. Okay, let's go to the video. Number 1. Rose of Sharon. Rose of Sharon is known for its large, plentiful blooms that appear from summer to fall. The main species plant grows from 8 to 10 feet tall. Rose of Sharon can be planted individually as a specimen plant or grouped informally to create a shrub border. It is very attractive to hummingbirds and butterflies. Any necessary pruning should occur in the late winter to early spring. Number 2. Flowering Quince. Flowering Quince is a thorny shrub with multiple stems that blooms in late winter and early spring before the leaves open. The main species plant grows from 6 to 10 feet tall. This shrub is easy to recognize thanks to its distinctive pinkish red or orange flowers. The shrub's spiny branches make it a good choice for boundary hedges. Number 3. Japanese Caria. Japanese Caria offers profuse flowers lining the stems over several weeks in spring. The shrub also might rebloom in summer. The stems are bright green and remain so during the winter. This is a good flowering bush for somewhat shady conditions in woodland settings. It is a very tough plant that can be regenerated by chopping it off at ground level in winter or early spring. Number 4. Hardy Hibiscus. Hardy hibiscus blossoms are so large that they are sometimes referred to as dinner plates. This plant typically grow to a height of around 3 to 7 feet tall. The plants blossom in midsummer to late summer, drawing attention for the entire bloom period. Although they have woody stems like other shrubs, hibiscus stems generally die back to the ground in cold winter climates. Number 5. Rhododendrons. Rhododendrons can be evergreen or deciduous, and they have large leaves often with a leathery texture. Rhododendron's size varieties range from a few feet to 30 feet tall. Rhododendrons typically flower dramatically in mid-spring, with a wide range of bloom colors depending on species and variety. These flowering bushes are most often used in borders or woodland plantings. Number 6. Azaleas. Azaleas tend to be smaller shrubs with smaller leaves than rhododendrons, but the flower colors and shapes are quite similar. Azaleas work well in a large yard planted against a background of evergreens, which provide some of the soil acid that these flowering bushes crave. Use an acidifying fertilizer if you don't already have acidic soil. Number 7. Mountain Laurel. In eastern North America, the white, light pink, or rose-red blossoms of mountain laurel light up the woods in late spring to early summer. Mountain laurel is a broadleaf evergreen that provides year-round interest even after the blooms fade. This flowering bush works well in wet or swampy areas but also tolerates drought. Its height is between 5 and 12 feet depend on variety. Number 8. Roses. Roses are perhaps the most popular landscape shrub of all, with varieties available for every climate and landscape use. Some are repeat bloomers from spring to fall while others only bloom once or twice during the growing season. And some have a trailing growth habit while others grow as mounded shrubs. Roses are heavy feeders, so regular fertilization is a must for healthy growth. Number 9. Common Lilac. Not only are the late spring blooms on common lilacs beautiful to look at, but they are also among the most fragrant flowers. The most common flower colors are shades of lavender and purple. Some varieties will rebloom in late summer or early fall. Lilacs are very tough flowering bushes that tolerate almost any condition. And the number 10 is Bougainvillea. Bougainvillea is a genus of plants with either a vining or a shrub-like growth habit. These plants can be evergreen or deciduous, depending on variety and climate. The elliptical leaves come to a pointed tip, and the stems have long thorns. The plants will repeat bloom throughout the growing season. To maintain it as a shrub, prune and don't allow it to climb. Thanks for watching my video about top 10 flowering bushes for your landscape. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for supports our channel. Well, see you in the next videos.